fucking competition. Yeah, thanks. I was pretty excited to get. Nah, he cheated. What? Really? Cheated? Yeah, I'm cheating on a modeling competition. I've been training neural networks for many years now. I don't know how you came up with that architecture, all those hyperparameter values to, to get such a good model so quickly. Well, how'd you do? All right, here's what happened. After we were told about the competition, I went back to my office and just started trying to work through different model configurations manually. But I started to get pretty frustrated because there are so many hyperparameters and they interact in complex ways. Plus, with the size of the data, each model was taking about half an hour to train. I realized this was going to take a very long time. Then Josh stopped by and said I should really be using optimization techniques to search the hyperparameter space. I wasn't sure how effective it would be, since there is a mixture of variable types. Some are continuous, some are discrete and categorical. There are discontinuities in the hyperparameter space, there are infeasible hyperparameter combinations, and other numerical difficulties. There are flat regions in the hyperparameter space that could stall an optimizer, and other regions that are noisy, and the training can be very non-deterministic. But Josh explained that we could use a derivative-free optimization framework called Autotune that incorporated numerous search methods running concurrently in hybrid strategies to exploit the strengths of each to navigate complex spaces. And as a bonus, many of these methods, such as a genetic algorithm, could evaluate numerous candidate models in parallel to save time. That sounded great, but still, given the size of the data, the model training required distributing the data across multiple machines. How could we effectively allocate available compute resources between training a single model and training multiple models in parallel for hyperparameter tuning? Fortunately, Oleg overheard all of this and told us how the Autotune framework intelligently allocates the resources to manage the trade-off between training and tuning. So I made a simple change to my code to use the Autotune framework, defining the hyperparameters to explore, the ranges to search, and I ran it. I could see how all of my compute resources were being effectively utilized. With Autotune automatically exploring the hyperparameter space intelligently and efficiently, I was able to focus on other work that I needed to get done. Over time, I could see how the search strategy was converging to more optimal model configurations. When I showed Yan the results, he was amazed at how quickly I found such a good model. Okay, so you didn't cheat. What's this hyperparameter tuning framework called again? It's called Autotune, and it works for a lot of different uh, model types. Here, I just happen to have a copy of the paper we did for 2018 KDD Conference. Check it out. Hmm, Autotune, a derivative free optimization framework for hyperparameter tuning. Hmm, I think everybody should check this out. Hey, think you could Autotune my lunch? <laughs> <laughs>